Good morning, everybody. Thank you for coming out uh, to this uh, first AGM. Uh, we're very excited to be here today and just want to give a bit of a background as to how the committees are structured at uh, CANBIM. Originally, we had thought of a more traditional model of having subcommittees that are directly answerable to a board. And I think it became very clear uh, for us that BIM in, in itself is a game changer and it changes how you do everything. So as a consequence, we have thought that um, it would be better to have a series of somewhat not necessarily independent, but autonomous uh, committees that can meet freely and move forward with their own agenda at the same time always coming back to the core group. So rather than having an overall overarching group and then a series of subcommittees, these committees are structured in such a way that they, they are independent uh, from themselves, from the rest of the group, but still answerable to a board, which then drives the board to be more a policy-driven board than a ways and means board, which we think in the end is a better way to go. So you're going to see the, the, the beginnings of these committees today, and we're certainly looking for members to be on these committees. In fact, uh, we are going to make sure that if you are a member, that you are on a committee. <laughs> So if you're not on a committee, we're going to be asking why, but we really do want to make sure that everybody's in these. So basically we have a, a series of uh, the committees. We've taken um, uh, the designers uh, and instead of having architects, we felt everybody who's involved in the act of design should be part of a designer's committee. And that follows along the lines that we see, particularly with Building Smart Alliance, where we see the notion of uh, design, procurement, assembly, and operation, that w lining more with that. So today, I'm going to be able to present to you our, um, our report. So